Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be painting Ladybug and Coneflower. I'll go over the materials that you need to do the painting as well as list those materials in the description box below this video. Additionally, I will provide a photo of the finished painting on my Instagram account, Lydia Pangborn Art, for you to reference. And if you have subscribed to my channel or liked my videos, thank you very much. It helps the channel grow. So let's have some fun painting. Grab your paints, your brushes, something to stay hydrated, and I'll meet you back at the easel. for this painting today is a 9 by 12 inch stretched and prime canvas. I'm going to be using the very same colors that I used for the last video, the Butterfly and Black Eyed Susan painting. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll put a link above for that painting. This is actually going to be a companion painting for that painting. I'm going to be using acrylic paints and the colors on my palette are Primary Magenta, Cadmium Orange Medium, Yellow Okra, Naples Yellow, Hooker's Green, Cobalt Blue, Burnt Sienna, Dioxazine Purple, and I just have a couple of lines of Titanium White ready to go. The brushes I'm going to be using are a one inch flat brush, a half inch filbert brush, and a small round brush. You're going to want to have a jar of water for rinsing your brushes, a paper towel or an old cloth for drying your brushes, I'm going to want to have something to draw with. I'm going to be using a piece of chalk and a mister bottle nearby in case you need to wet your paints to keep them moist. Okay, so I'm going to wet my one inch flat brush in my jar to get started. And I am going to wipe off any excess water out of my brush. So I did wet the back of my canvas before I got started so it's a little damp so that the paint will blend a little better. It'll come off my brush a little better. So just like I did in the other painting, I'm going to have an angled sky, but this time I'm going to angle it coming down from this side down. So here's my halfway point. So I'm going to maybe go up about two inches from my halfway point on this side and maybe down about an inch or so on this side to angle my sky. So I'm going to get my white paint and I've already wet my brush and I'm just going to push my brush into my white paint. And I'm going to come over here and get a little bit of my cobalt blue. And I'm going to start at the top and just start putting this in with my X, big X crisscross strokes. And so let's say I want to go maybe about to here and then maybe about down, maybe a little lower down to there. And it doesn't have to be exact. We can um, ad adjust the colors in the sky or just how far down. We're going to have a lot of, like we did last time, some of the grasses pulled up. And I'm just going to go ahead and angle that down. And I'll push hard to get some of that paint off my brush. And the sky did get a little, it's a little darker at the top and a little lighter as you go down to the bottom. And that way you create this sense of distance back here and up here the sky being a little darker. So as we're moving through the painting, I do want it to stay a little brighter on this side so we, we have the illusion of a light source coming in from this side. So now as I move down my painting, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of my cobalt blue in one corner. I don't have a lot of paint left in my brush. I don't want too, too much. And then I'm going to come over to my yellow okra and I'm going to put some of that on the other corner of my brush. So when we start to move down and blend these together, it's going to create more of a green. I don't have a lot of white on my brush, but we'll see how that goes. I may add a little white in at the top. We'll see. So I'm going to go down below where I started and just start doing those X strokes. And I am going to pick up a little bit more of my white and just put that in and a little bit more of my blue. 
and put that in. So I want this to read as a little bit more on the green side. And I'm just gonna keep getting that paint off my brush. And as I have less and less paint on my brush, I'm gonna come up here and just blend that line there out a little bit and work it up a little bit more into that blue so it softens the line. It's not so harsh when I transition from the blue to the green. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come down, I'm going to get a little bit more of this yellow okra in my blue. And I'm just gonna put it down here, but I'm also gonna come in and pick up just on the edge of this red, a little magenta. And I'm gonna come down and add that in because I want it to be a little darker down here. And the red will take that greenish color back. And we will be adding some grasses. So as we're moving through this, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna blend this back up down in here it'll get darker because we're going to add some more grasses and i'm just going to sweep across here all right so we're going to let this dry and when we come back for our next step we're going to put our one inch flat brush away and we're going to need our filbert brush for the next step so now we're going to take our filbert brush and we're going to pull up some grasses from the bottom i'm going to come onto my palette and i'm going to pull some some of this hooker's green and a little bit of this white and I'm gonna pull some of my magenta into that to make it a little darker. And so I have my brush has a lot of paint on it and I'm just gonna pull just from the bottom up, just some areas of grass and I'm gonna get my brush a little more wet. Here we go and just start to pull up from the bottom up and i'm only going to go up maybe about right where my green area is come up just below that maybe about an inch or so and i may pull a few of them up taller but this is just to get some depth down into the bottom of the painting i want it to look darker down here that, make sure i get that across and then just pull that up and then there may be just a few pieces that come up a little taller with this darker green. So this is a pretty quick, easy step. I'm just trying to get some of these little grassy areas pulled up. And then we're going to let this dry and I'm going to clean all the green out of my filbert brush and then we'll get our drawing on. But in order to get the drawing on, we need for this to be dry. So let's talk about the drawing. So today the drawing is gonna be just as simple as when we did our last painting. We're gonna make this a purple cone flower, also biological name, Echinacea. So it's gonna be a purpley pink for the petals and an orangish center. And we're actually gonna put this time a little ladybug up here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna sketch out, um, and I went ahead and put this in, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I came down maybe about three of my fingers, so it's maybe a one, two, three inches, and I decided that I wanted the very top of my flower tip, the round part, to be about here, so it's in about an inch, maybe down about three inches, and you can certainly put it wherever you want, um, you can put it over here facing that way, anywhere you want it, but remember to try to follow that rule of threes. You don't want anything in, to, so to keep interest in your painting, putting things dead center takes away the interest of your painting. So when I found my little area here, all I did was drew a half dome, a half circle, and then connected those two with a little wide line that slopes slightly from one point here to the other. And with the petals, you can put them however you want them. Again, these aren't really fat petals or um, 
they're usually thinner. So I did want to give a little interest to them. So I put a little, a little bit more shape to them. So I just decided that I want one I know up here because right about here is where my little ladybug or some people call it lady beetle is going to be. So it's going to be resting on top of this petal and headed toward the center. So then I decided I wanted to come down a little bit and have a petal here. And then I just connected these two with a little petal in the middle. And they're just little curved lines. So then I just continued on around. And of course you can adjust these petals as you go. I made this one a little smaller so it gives the illusion that we're starting to turn um, around to the other side and we don't see too many of those petals. And you can certainly add little half petals if you want on the other side. And then I made the stem. These tend to grow almost straight up. They lean slightly. So I made the, the stem straight and then it just leans a little bit. The flower itself just leans slightly. And then I just drew a few little leaf parts down here. And I put three. Um, you can do five. Odd numbers are always nice because it keeps it, again, interesting. So, so now we're going to put our piece of chalk away and we're going to come back in and just get the base coat for, for our flower on the next step using our fill with brush. All right, so I have my fill with brush and I'm going to start pulling out some of my diox purple, some of my titanium white, and I am going to add in some of my magenta to this color. So this first layer is going to be, the first layer of the petal is going to be a little bit more on the purplish side, but the, um, some of the red is going to, and it's going to be a darker color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start to fill in where I drew my petals. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this all in with this purple very quickly. And I am turning my brush on this point to get down to the little pointy parts at the tip of the petals. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back down into my titanium white. I'm not rinsing the brush. I still have some of that color left of the base of the uh, base coat of the petals. And I'm going to mix that right into that white. And I'm going to come up to the very tops of the petals. And I'm just going to put that at the very, very top of the petals. And when we start to swing around, the top becomes the other side. And then this, this middle one can be something in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to blend right where those two colors meet. And it's just that quick and that simple. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my blue. So I'm getting my code ball blue. I'm going to bring it right over into this pile of paint that I already have. I'm going to get a little bit more cobalt blue. And then I'm going to pick up some burnt sienna to take it back a little bit. Not as much burnt sienna, just a little bit. And I'm just going to start to fill in this little centerpiece here. This will change. I'm just getting this base color and I'm gonna come right up to the petals, right in between, just slightly to the petals, just to make sure I connect those. So I didn't rinse my brush out. I'm coming up to my hooker's green and I'm gonna come in and just hit that into the petals down here. I'm just getting my base coat on. That's all I wanna do is I want to create a, a roadmap of where my colors are. And I'm just drawing from that stem down, just a straight line. So I went right on the tip and just pulled straight down with the paint I have on my brush. And this is all the same color right now because we're gonna be adding highlights and everything to the stem and start to create more highlights on the flower. 
So now what we're going to do is I'm going to rinse this brush out and we're going to come back with our small round brush for the next step. Okay, so now I have my small round brush and I'm going to come in and I'm going to start to work a little bit more on this part here. So I am going to pick up some of my blue and a hint of titanium white into my blue. So I'm mixing up blue and I just picked up just a little bit of the titanium white. And I'm going to come over here and get a touch of my magenta to put in here. So it's gonna be somewhat purple, but mostly blue. I don't want it to be quite as purple as my Diox purple. And then I'm just gonna come down to the base of my flowers, and I'm just gonna to start to dot in on this side some of this blue color. And I'm going right up around the petals all the way around just to connect those in. And then I'm going to take this same color. I'm going to add some of my yellow okra to that. And I'm going to come down to my petals here. And I'm just going to start to, I'm just filling in. I'm not doing any sort of stroke. I'm just filling in the color by just following my drawing. So this will become a little bit more on the green side. So I just took yellow okra, some blue, and it has a little bit of the magenta in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that paint out of my brush and I do want to make sure that all that's out of my brush and I'm going to come in just to grab some of my magenta and titanium white. I want this to be more on the pinkish side and I put a little more titanium white out on my palette here. But I'm going to start with this sort of medium pink color and I'm going to start down. I'm going to start not right at the very tops where the petals meet the center. I'm gonna start more toward the, maybe just about quarter of an inch from the center and just start to make little strokes outward from the petal. And here's where you can start to bring that more to a little point here that out a little more. There we go. And you can shape your petals up as you go. And then I can take my finger and just blend right there where that purple meets. And we have more work to do in the center. And I'm going to keep the little darker areas down on this side and just start to swipe some of this pink in toward what I would see as the very top of the petal. And again, I can do a little blend and I'm going to keep moving around. put too much of that pink color there but I'm gonna put some of it there but I'm gonna leave it dark down in this area because it's reaching more toward what's gonna be these darker areas down here and then over here and just bring that in and I am rolling my small round brush into my paint just to get the paint all around the brush and then I'm going to pick up some more of my titanium white and I'm going to go right up above the color I'm using. I can even roll my brush into that white to get some of that color out. And then I'm going to come back to what would be the very top of the petal, giving it a little bit more of a highlight on each of these top areas of the petal. And I can blend that in as well. Just gonna add a little bit more white. 
just start sweeping that around a little bit more right into that pink and we'll let it dry and we'll see how that looks if we want to go a little bit lighter we can And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take some of this orange and pull it right over into this pinkish area. And I'm just gonna to start to just do little dots. So I'm just stippling in a little bit of this orangish color right into the top of the petal, mostly on this side of the canvas. There we go. And if you happen to pick up some of that blue, that's great down at the base there. And we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and get my ladybug in. So I'm going to pick up some of my primary magenta and I'm going to mix it with my orange. And I'm going to go ahead and decide where I want my ladybug. And I'm just going to do an half circle and I want to make sure that I don't make my ladybug all the way to the petal it's going to be slightly above the petal so I'm just going to make a little little half circle and then the bottom is a little bit more flat there we go and we'll get all the little head and feet in there in just a little bit. We'll let that dry. And while I have this color, I'm gonna have some add some white, just a little white to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that into my centerpiece here. There we go. Just giving it some more texture. So we're gonna rinse out our small round brush and let all of this dry and we'll come back with our filbert brush to start working a little bit more down in the lower area. Okay, so now we have our filbert brush and we're gonna come back and work with the sky a little bit and working down in this lower area. So I am gonna go ahead and I've got my filbert brush a little wet and dried off the excess water and I'm going to take some of my titanium white. I'm just gonna bring it up here. I just wanna a little bit of it and I'm just going to start to I'm going to add a little tiny hint of my blue to it and I just want to add just a, a nice lighter blue not necessarily clouds themselves because I want this to be a little distant but I want it a little bit more white than blue in this area Coming right on down, like underneath my little ladybug, a little bit. And I'm come on around here, and down into here. So I'm just putting a little bit more of that white, titanium white, mixed with the tad bit of my blue. On this side of the canvas here. And then I'm going to take a little bit more blue. So a little bit more of my cobalt blue. And on this side, I'm going to make it a little bit more blue than white over here. I don't want it too dark, but I do want a little bit more blue added in over here. And I can stumble it, I can wipe it, I just want to blend it in a little more. And that's really all I want to do with that. So what I want to do now is I want to start to work a little bit more brighter areas down from about where my dark area is up. 
So I want to pull up a few more of these grassy, leafy areas. So I'm gonna take some of my Naples yellow and I'm gonna pull in a little bit of my Hooker's Green. I'm just gonna press that in there and I'm just gonna to start to pull some of these greener grasses up. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to that because I wanna make sure it's not too transparent. So if I add some titanium white to that, it's gonna make it a little bit more opaque. I'm just gonna pull some of these grasses up. And I may bring some of them down a little bit. I don't want it to get too bright down in the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my green, my hooker's green to that. There we go. I've got just a little yellow, more yellow than I want right now. So just add a little bit more of the hooker's green to it. Just a little higher. And then I'm gonna just get my hooker's green. I'm gonna add a little blue to that. And a little bit of my yellow okra, a whole amount of the hookers, about half as much of the blue, and about, about a quarter of what the green is, we're gonna add this yellow okra, and we're gonna start to pull some of that up as well. I'm just gonna work that into just part way up those greener grasses. I'm gonna come down here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my red to that. And again, go down into, I want it to be a little bit more green, so let me mix that red in a little bit. I want it to lean more to the green side and just pull up right down in the bottom. And come back in, do a little bit more of my yellow okra, blue and green and just pull that up right at the bottom. So it's just different little grassy areas down in here. All right, and then what I want to do is I'm gonna to start to work with on my stalk and leaves a little bit. So I'm gonna use my yellow okra. And I'm just gonna put it down here by my Naples yellow. And I've got a little bit of this green in there. And I'm just gonna start right on the lower edge. And then right down this lighter side of my green here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my titanium white to that and then come on to the top side. And then I'm gonna come down to the darker one down here, add a little bit more of the sap green to it. So this little leaf that's attached down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more of just, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my Naples only on the tip of my brush. And just brush that on here, and this little top edge, and right on this little side not all the way down, so I'm just going to take it right down to that first leaf and then I'm going to blend this in on each of these leaves. And I'm going to keep this little dark. We're going to come back and do a little bit more with that in just a little bit. And then I'm going to even kind of take the same color and just randomly hit 
down in this lower area. So it looks like maybe there's some other flowers around possibly. And we'll come back and add some more to that in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm liking that. So I'm gonna rinse this brush out. We're gonna let this lower section dry now and then we're gonna come back and finish up getting our flower in and our little ladybug in. Now we're gonna come back to our small round brush and we're gonna start to work on finishing some finishing touches on our upper part of our flower. So I'm going to start with the center. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue and I'm gonna pull in some burnt, burnt sienna and some titanium white. I want it to be a little bit more of the blue than the burnt sienna. And I'm gonna come back through where I had put the blue in before. And I'm just gonna make little stippling action here. And then I'm gonna get just blue only. I didn't rinse my brush out. And I'm gonna mix that in to, so I'm just dipping straight into my blue and I'm going to add that in a stippling motion all the way around my flower. And again, I wanna bring this down into my petals a little bit, just a little bit in between those little petals so they look like they're growing from the center. And I want a little bit more blue Here we go. And then I'm gonna not rinse my brush and bring some white in, white in. And I'm gonna start to work that in the middle section here, just stippling it in. Bring that on around here. And then I am gonna rinse my brush out, get all of that blue out. You wanna make sure that you get all of the blue and brown out. And I'm gonna come down and pull some of my orange, the cadmium orange, and add some of the titanium white to it. Because if you look at the cone flowers, they have these deep down at the bottom, there's a little bit more of an inset of this darker color, but then it starts to get more orange as you reach the top. Let me bring some of that down. If I bring it down any though, I wanna make sure I wipe that off my brush before I dip back into my orange because I don't wanna get a lot of that blue into my orange at the very top part of the flower here. Here we go. And then I'm gonna pick up some of my Naples yellow. I'm not rinsing my brush out. I still have some orange left on my brush. And then I'm gonna start to work that in so that it looks like it, the light's coming from this side. So I wanna make sure I get some of that yellow orange in. All right, and we're gonna let that dry a little bit because then we're gonna add just the brightest yellow and white to it. But while that's drying, I'm rinsing my brush out again and I'm coming into my white, so the titanium white, and I'm moving it over into this leftover pink color that I have, the pinkish color that I created with just my red and white, and I want it to be even lighter now. And I'm just gonna mix that up. And then I'm gonna come right along the very tops of the petals And the thing to remember here is the brightest parts are gonna be those parts closest to this side of the canvas. And then I'm just gonna take my, you can use your finger if you wanna have another small brush nearby. And I'm just gonna make little circle motions right in the center there, just like I did before. 
And just to blend that in. I'm gonna go right up to the tip here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this petal. And if you notice, I'm still working to keep these little dark areas right around where the tops of the petals, so where the petals meet the, the little center part of the flower. I'm gonna do that here. So with this petal facing down more, I'm gonna leave a little bit more of a dark area at the tip and the same with this one. But I still want a little bit of that lighter pink color in there. And this petal I think got a little too big, so I am gonna to work to, this is where you can make an adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and get the petal done, but I'm going to try to shorten it a little bit when we work on getting a little bit more of the green in there than this one. Alright, I got my brush a little wet, make a little circular motion there and there, just get that blended so it doesn't look like just a, a straight line in there. And while I'm here, so I'm going to take this color and I'm going to start to work it around a little bit. So I've got this little pink color and I'm just going to come in and just hit little areas and just quickly blend it in with my finger. So it looks like that maybe back in the distance there's some of these little pink flowers kind of maybe back here somewhere in the background. And I may even take some of this pink and just maybe just rub it in just to like maybe about the middle part of these flowers we're going to do it or the middle part of the leaves down here we're going to do a little work on that in just a little bit i'm going to leave the pink on my brush that i have i don't have much left and i'm going to come down into my orange and i'll just roll what's on my brush out bring in a little bit more of my titanium white What that looks like and so I'm going to start to maybe hit a little bit of that around as well maybe not quite as much as the pink but just a little bit and then I'm going to rinse my orange out of my brush I'm going to get a little bit of my hooker's green and I'm going to mix in some of that Naples yellow and just come around and I'm going to I'm going to make this petal a little shorter and I'm going to start hitting some of this darker green in little spots. I'm just picking up some green and I'm just going around and hitting that in some areas as well. And I'm going to keep that about midway since it's a mid green. There we go. So while I am still messing around with the area down here, I'm going to make a little bit of a turquoise color. So I'm going to take a lot of this. I'm going to get this paint out of our brush. And I'm going to take a lot of my Naples yellow. And I'm going to get some, just a little bit of the blue here. I'm going to mix that in. Just a little bit more blue. A little bit more yellow. There we go. And I'm going to come in. I want to just make little stripes along my little leaf area here, a little, I'm just putting little strips of color on my leaves down here so they just stand out a little more. And then I'm going to do that. 
that on this leaf here as well. I'm leaving it that dark green down at the bottom of the area on all of these. And you can just blend that in as well with my finger. And then I can also do that along the stem. So the stem stands out just a little bit more against everything. I may even take some of that and hit it along some areas. It's more of a, a turquoisey color, so it can stand out a little bit as well. All right, so I'm gonna let all of this dry. We're gonna come back to our small round brush again, but I wanna make sure that my center part of my flower is dry so we can finish that and get my ladybug finished and see if there's anything else we may want to do. Okay, so I have you zoomed in so we can work on a little ladybug a little more. So I am going to mix up some of my primary magenta with some of my orange. And then I'm going to pick up some titanium white So it's mostly primary magenta, maybe about a quarter as much of the orange, and then some titanium white to make it more opaque. And so we're gonna come up here to our little ladybug. I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on the ladybug. We already have our little ladybug started, so I'm just gonna do a little dot here. I'm kinda easily putting it in. And on the very top, I'm gonna put in, a, I picked up a little bit of titanium white right on the tip of the brush. And I'm just gonna start to work that in on the top, just with little circular motions. I just picked up a little bit more of the pri that primary color there. And I want to bring it down just a little bit. There we go. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take, I'm getting that paint out of my brush, and I'm going to take some purple, so I'm doing Diot's purple and orange, and it's going to create, and then you can do a little bit of blue in there too. So mostly the purple with some orange and blue, and this creates what looks more like a chromatic black. So if I were to take a little bit of my white and put it in there. So I added a little bit more white to it. Yeah. And their heads are almost a triangle but rounded at the very tip of the head so i've loaded up my round brush with that color but i'm going to wipe some of it off so i'm just going to go around and just wipe a little bit of it off in a circular and just rolling my brush in the to the paper towel just to get some of it off and i'm going to come in and i'm going to put a little start right there and then I'm gonna bring it to just a little rounded point. And that's all we need to do with that. And then I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna get a little bit more water on it, and I want this to be a little bit more wet paint now, so I'm getting it a little wet, a little more wet. Rolling my brush into that paint 
And again, I don't want to have a lot of paint on the brush. I'm just gonna roll it around lightly on my paper towel. And I'm gonna go straight in and you can get a liner, a script liner brush if you'd like, but I'm gonna go right in a light touch. So right where the head meets the body, I'm gonna do a little line out and a little line back in. Then about midway of the body, I'm gonna do the same thing. Little line out, little line back in. I'm not gonna put in a lot of detail. Back on the back, I'm gonna go a little line out toward the back and then coming down. And I may put one, one more right there in the middle of those so it looks like um, there's another leg maybe on the other side. Now for the dots, we're gonna decide where we want our dots to be. I'm gonna go right back into my paint, that same color, my chromatic black. And I think I'm gonna put my first little dot, I'm gonna put it down here. And then my second little dot, maybe a half one down at the lower part of the body. And then one up here. And then maybe another one back here. So you can put your dots wherever you want them. I'm gonna put a little bit more color on my head while I have that there. There we go. And then there's these two little parts that stick out from the very tip of his nose. So I, again, very little paint. I'm just gonna put a little Line. And I just put two little lines there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that paint out of my brush. And I've got a little bit of titanium white right on the tip of my brush. And again, you don't want too much on the brush. So if you need to wipe some off, you can. And I'm just going to come in. Their eyes look like little squares and we're only going to be able to see one side. So I'm just going to put a little square there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight again on top of his body and maybe back here. So I'm just putting little dots in there. And then back on this back leg, let me take a little bit of that white and just hit back there. And that's really all you need to do for your little ladybug friend. So we're gonna let our ladybug dry. I'm gonna get that paint out of my brush and I'm gonna back you back out so we can finish up the flower and the rest of the painting. So now we're going to work on getting our brightest brights in. So I've got my small round brush. I wanna dip right down into my Naples yellow, straight into it so the paint is right on the tip. And I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna to start to stipple in some of this yellow just on the very top on this side. And then I'm gonna dip down into my white while that paint's still wet. So I just got some titanium white, I didn't rinse my brush out. And I'm gonna mix that in with a stippling motion with that yellow. And I may take what's left on my brush and come down and hit some of that yellow white on the tops of the leaves here just to make them stand out. And maybe just a little bit more on the stem to make that stand out. So I want to brighten up around my ladybug a little bit. So I'm gonna come with my pink and a little bit more of my titanium white. And just a really light, and I'm not gonna go underneath the ladybug, but I'm gonna go around the ladybug. It's like maybe there's a shadow, a little ladybug is casting underneath it. And I'm just gonna hit some of these top edges with this really lightest pink color.
Just the same thing, you can blend it with your finger, making sure your finger is clean. I'm going to keep this white more at the top of this petal because down here I'm going to make it look like it bends right there. But this one, I'm going to put a little bit more of that color there. There's more light there. I may even take this as a little lighter than that other pink, just a little bit. Spread it around. That a little bit. And bring it down into here a little. And again, when you start to put the colors that you're using all around your painting, it brings cohesion and may even throw a little bit of it into these little leaves. Just to spice it up a little. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and be done, call this done. You certainly could do anything that you may wanna add to your painting. Maybe you wanna do another ladybug over here. Um, maybe you wanna bring up some taller grasses, that's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush clean so I can do the final stage, which is to sign the painting. All right, so I've mixed up some hooker's green white with a little purple in it. This is going to be light enough. I'm just rolling my brush around in some inky consistency. All right, I'm going to sign it over here. I thought it would be fun to take a minute to put these side by side so that you can see even if you do small paintings you can make them have a pretty big impact by grouping them together if you use similar colors and sim or similar themes or both especially if you're just beginning to paint sometimes doing a big painting can feel so overwhelming and starting with smaller paintings is can be fun and just to play around and maybe you create a small one and you like it so much you want to recreate it in a bigger size so that's always a great option as well so i hope you have fun and we're done thank you for keeping me company today i hope you created something special for yourself until next time bye bye